After winning the war in Europe, Americans once again turned their attention towards Japan. The U.S. had great success in the military campaign, but the Japanese still had not surrendered. By this time, Franklin D. Roosevelt had died in office, so his vice president was Harry Truman. Truman quickly had to decide what to do to end the war. He was told by military advisors, one million, one million U.S. troops would die if the United States invaded the Japanese mainland. Truman made a decision. He had only been vice president for a couple of months, a handful of months. When he is put in this position, he had to figure out a way to make Japan surrender quickly. Even after warnings that the Japanese received about devastating weapons of mass destruction, they still refused to give up. A successful test of the atomic bomb led Truman to make the decision to use it. American pilots dropped the first atomic bomb on Hiroshima on August 6, 1945. Still, Japanese military leaders did not surrender. Truman was given no options. The second atomic bomb was dropped three days later over Nagasaki. Now, Truman had selected these locations specifically. He did not want to destroy Japan. Instead, he just wanted them to surrender. If he wanted to crumble Japan, he would have targeted Tokyo, the center of the government system, their economic system, their leaders. That wasn't the point. He also avoided locations with high religious value, places with temples and such. He did not want to cause a cultural war. Imagine how upset the United States would be if all the churches were burned and attacked and targeted. So he very strategically selected Hiroshima and Nagasaki. This little clip that you're about to watch is on the devastation of the bomb. There's a question of saving hundreds of thousands of American lives. At 2.45 a.m., the Anola Gay cleared the runway on the special bombing mission with 10,000 pounds of atomic bomb called Little Boy aboard. The mission pilot was Colonel Paul Tibbets. We got off at about 3 o'clock in the morning. We felt that it was our lucky day. We knew it was as we made the final approach toward Hiroshima, which the navigator hit right on the button. I could clearly see the city of Hiroshima within my bomb site. August the 6th, 1945, 8.15 a.m. There was an extraordinary flash, an eye-crushing flash. Then came the tremendous roar. I felt something strange on my face. Then I was shocked by the feeling that the skin on my face had come off, and the hands and the arms too. It was now dark like dusk. Everything was vague and hazy as if a mist had covered my eyes. I wondered if I had lost my senses. At that moment, a kind of panic began to roar up from somewhere in the crowd. As first one voice, then another began passing along a message. It's gasoline. The Americans are dumping gasoline on us. At least 75,000 people were killed instantly. The exact number of dead will never be clear, because whole families, whole neighborhoods were wiped out by the bomb. No one knows precisely how many died from the effects of radiation in the months and years to come. The bomb had been detonated directly above its target, the center of the city. Hopefully, as you can see from that devastation, the bomb fast forwarded an end to the war. The devastation left behind at Hiroshima and Nagasaki forced the Japanese Supreme War Council to finally capitulate, surrender. 
VJ Day occurs on August 15, 1945. Emperor Hirohito broadcasted to his people for the first time the years of fighting from 1939 to 1945 has finally come to an end. Now many would argue that the bomb was not dropped to end war with Japan, but to prevent war with Russia. Throughout the war there starts to be a division between the United States and Russia, between the rest of the Allied powers, democracies, and Russia, communism. And some have argued that Japan was on the verge of signing a surrender with, Japan, with Russia that would have provided the United States with little to hope in preventing Russia from expanding. So, some say that the second bomb on Nagasaki was actually to prevent the Russians from becoming too involved in World War II, from being the ones that accepted the surrender from Japan. All that, you know, who knows? By the numbers, it truly was a world war. As you see this map before you, the gray are the countries that were not involved in the war whatsoever. Dark green were allies before Pearl Harbor. The lighter green is allies after Pearl Harbor. And the orange is the Axis powers. 30 countries were involved. 55 million deaths across a global battlefield. Out of the devastation of war did come some positive results. World War II for the United States simulated our economy and ended the Great Depression. Unemployment fell to just 1% in 1944 because of defense industries. The United States became the most powerful nation in the world. Millions of women became employed outside of the home. Huge technological gains for farmers as they increased production once again. And many Southerners moved north after the war's end. World War II was the largest international episode of the 20th century. During six years, between the attack on Poland and the bombing of Nagasaki, the world was plunged into the most destructive war in history.